back to another episode here. Today we're at a place called Lazy Moon Pizza. It could be the best pizza here in Orlando, but the pizza slices are the size of my head. So we're gonna try all of their specialty slices and I'll let you guys know which one's the best. All right, let's eat. All right guys, here at Lazy Moon, they not only sell pizza and the slices are, are ginormous, they're like the size of my head. You'll see them when they come out. But they also ser serve beer and they serve mixed drinks, so cocktails. That's not what am I saying, it's the same thing. Cocktails, beer, and pizza. And they have salads and I think they have a soup too. But we're not here to try the soup. It's a pizza place. We're here to try the pizza. But let me show you the two drinks that I got. I got a mojito and yeah, I forgot the name of the other one. <laughs> El Diablo Rojo, which means the red devil <laughs> in English. And I was only going to get the mojito, but I saw that the red devil, El Diablo Rojo, the price was 6.66. .66, so I had to order it. All right, let me show it to you guys. Let me show you guys the menu first for the their specialty drinks and their beer. I don't know much about beer. I'm, most of the videos I'm not going to order beer unless it's like a special thing like at Krusty Burger they have the Duff beer so I have to get a Duff beer obviously. What else are you going to get there? Alright, let me show you guys. Alright guys, let me show you this menu real quick. The Booze Bible. Okay, this is my favorite Bible by the way. <laughs> Specialty cocktails. This is what they have here. They have a huge, huge selection. I mean, this will make anybody happy. So if you come here with a group of friends, yeah, you can easily satisfy anyone. Highball cocktails. So you can kind of make your own also cocktail, which is kind of cool. And if you saw the menu, you could kind of like make your own pizza, which is what we did with two slices. So we'll go over that in a bit. But let me show you guys the beers. This is the bottled beer. If you guys you, you know anybody will know more about beer than I do you leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these I should have tried here we go I don't know this is all oh man there's a motorcycle so I was saying I don't know which one of these are like special here that I should have tried and the menus it looks pretty extensive for beer at least They also have some wine, some reds, and some white. And let me see, I don't know what's in the back here. Oh, draft beer. Let me show you the draft beer. Like I said, you guys don't know more about beer than I do. And I'm probably, once I start seeing the comments, I'm gonna regret not trying some of these beers. Maybe one of these will Turn me over. All right, so this is their mojito. Let me see what it says here. Flor de caña, rum. So it's uh, cane flower rum. It's got mint, lime, and it says simple on it. I guess it's simple syrup. Here it is. It's got a lime here. It's got a nice garnish, nice presentation. Good amount of mint leaves. I happen to love mojitos. One of my favorite mixed drinks. All right, this is a mojito, guys. Let's taste it. Mm. That's a pretty good mojito. It's nice and sweet. It's minty. You can taste that lime. I, this is a good mojito. I would definitely get this again when I come by here. 
as long as the pizza is amazing, I'm definitely coming back. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I love it. Actually, I got to stop because I, I know I could I'll chug the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Let me show you guys this. El Diablo Rojo real quick. All right. So this is it. This is the drink here. Looks pretty nice. It has... I forgot the name of this cherry. Not maraschino. It's like the original cherry. I forgot what it was called. Anyway. This is uh, Old Forester Bourbon. Vino San Esteban Malbec. And Lemon Sour. I guess it's like a maybe a, a Spanish wine that they put in this. So it's bourbon, lemon sour, and it has a wine. All right, let's see how this is. Again, I had to order this. I had to order this. Can't say no to this. Okay, all right, El Diablo Rojo. Mm. Okay, you get a little bourbon flavor. But I love, I love whiskey. I don't know if it's bourbon, actually. I'm just saying bourbon because that, oh yeah, it is. Old Forester bourbon. I love bourbon whiskey. Maker's Mark 46. If you ever wanna buy me a bottle of liquor, that's the one to get me. <laughs> I'll sip that every day. And the wine and the lemon sour, it tastes, this lemon sour taste. I think they make that fresh. It doesn't taste like, I used to bartend years ago, so it doesn't taste like the one that comes out from the, from the gun. The wine and the bourbon, they pair very well. Tastes so good. I have to stop. I have to stop. Okay, it's amazing. Look at this, this is the full spread. Full spread, and we got a calzone too. So seven slices. five specialty sizes and two that I kind of crafted on my own which is kind of like our go-to's look at this look, I want you guys to look at the size of this pizza okay this pizza <laughs> is bigger than my head this is amazing this is the buffalo chicken slice here look at this it's like a regular pizza slice it's like three times the size it's pretty crispy, but it's so huge that you can't do, let me see. Can you do the New York fold on this giant pizza? Let's see, one hit. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. It's so long, you can't do the New York fold. You could do it like this, though. Let me show you guys up close first before I try it. All right, take a look at this buffalo chicken slice. It's got hot sauce. It's got blue cheese crumbles. You can see them right there. It's got buffalo chicken. Big chunks here. Big chunks. It's got buffalo sauce. Oh, actually, I said red hot sauce earlier, but I think it's like their, their red uh, tomato sauce, actually. So my mistake on that. It has baked ranch sauce also. And, of course, mozzarella cheese on this crust. Look at that. It was amazing. Huge. I think I'm going to love this. I haven't even tried it yet. I've never had any of these slices. All right. Let's taste it and see what I think. Since I'm from New York, you know if you're from New York, there's only one way to eat a slice. It's not with a knife and fork. You fold it. You fold it. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. The hot sauce, the buffalo sauce. Not too hot. That blue cheese is fresh. I haven't, haven't had any chicken yet, so I'm not going to talk about the chicken yet. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that chicken's amazing. It's like a roasted chicken. I know the slices you get in New York, it's always a roasted chicken. Um, not roasted. In New York, it's always breaded. You know what I'm talking about if you're from New York but this flavor is delicious. <laughs> the chicken is super tender. It's delicious. Let me have one more bite of this one. Mm -hmm. That is a good buffalo chicken slice. If anything, 
I definitely come back for this one. It's amazing. And again, even when you fold it, it's bigger than my head. My head's pretty big though. <laughs> so maybe it's about the same size. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, look at this, guys. If you haven't guessed it, this is the Cuban slice. So this has mustard sauce, mojo pork, which is, I'm assuming it's like a slow roasted pork because that's what they put in Cuban sandwiches. It's got ham, it's got dill pickle slices, and that mozzarella cheese on top. All right, let's see what this slice is about. Is it better? than the actual Cuban sandwich. Would I? I've had some good Cuban sandwiches here in Orlando, actually. Is it better? Would I prefer more motorcycles? More motorcycles. Would I prefer a Cuban pizza slice over the Cuban sandwich? Let's find out. Okay, remember what I said earlier. New York is we, we the pizza. Oh, look at this. Perfect New York slice. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> this is a New York slice. <laughs> New York's making the slices wrong. All right, let's taste this. That's oh, crunchy. Not crunchy crust. Just like back in New York. That's amazing. And by itself, you can taste that mustard sauce. It's delicious. Let's see. A bite here with the pickle and the mojo part. <clears throat> That's pretty good. That is delicious. Tastes like a Cuban sandwich in the form of a pizza. I don't know how they did it, but they did it right. I gotta do one more bite of this one. Got some mojo pork in there. That pork is amazing. It is tender. It's like shredded pork. But once everything comes together, it's pretty good. I'd get this one again. Now, now I don't know. You can't have all these slices every time you come here. You can only get like one slice. I'm going to have to come every day of the week and have one of each. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right. All right, guys, this is Jason's mom's slice. She made it herself. Let's take a look at this. This looks pretty good. So this is that red tomato sauce. He's got, I don't know, I think it's grilled chicken actually in all of these. Sauteed mushrooms, caramelized onions, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. You can see the tomato slices right there. It's got the baked ranch. And it's got the baked Jason's mom sauce. And it's got the mo mozzarella cheese on top. This looks good. All right, let's try it out. Oh, okay. All right, this is good. Surviving. Mm. Wow, I had a lot of flavor. This is probably the best tasting slice just overall. Wow, I didn't know it was gonna be that good. It tastes fresh, but let's get let's dig a little deeper here. Mm. Okay, that mushroom flavor is amazing. That grilled chicken, perfectly seasoned, but the fresh tomatoes, I think they're seasoned too, because they have a lot. They give a lot of good flavor. Amazing. Really good. One more small bite. Mm -mm. That's really good. You're getting tough. Getting tough to get to the end and recommend one slice here because they've all been good so far. We're three for three. These are amazing. All right, let's move on to the next slice. <laughs> okay, this is the down home slice of pizza it's got barbecue sauce it's got barbecue smoked chicken it's got red onions it's got bacon it's got mozzarella this is a recipe for greatness 
recipe for greatness here. You see slices like this in New York? No, I've been there. <laughs> Let's taste this one out. It passes the fold test from New York. That tip was very crunchy. I got a little barbecue flavor in there. A little bit of the chicken. The chicken tastes good. You can taste that little bit of smoky flavor. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Mm. Delicious. That's a good barbecue slice right there. Oh, any complaints? Chicken is nice and tender. You get the freshness from the bite of the red onion. The barbecue sauce on here tastes fresh. Tastes good. It's definitely not your bottled barbecue sauce. This is good. And again, it's getting tougher. Tougher. I don't know which one I'm going to recommend yet at the end. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, this is the chili pizza. I've never heard of this type of slice before, even in New York. Well, a lot of these I haven't heard about. But obviously, we got barbecue slices. We got other type of specialty slices in New York. This is the chili pizza. This has red sauce, the red tomato sauce. It's got chili. It's got sour cream. You can see it right here. It's like drizzled across. Cheddar cheese. And you got mozzarella on top. Look at that. Look at that. It looks delightful. I love chili. I happen to love chili. If you saw the Krusty Burger video, I would like some chili on a bun. So let's see, let's put it to the taste test. Chili slice, let's put it to the, the fold test. All right, it's still holding up, but this thing is heavy. This thing is super heavy. It's got so much chili on it. It's so heavy. All right, let's have a bite here. Mm, mm. Oh my God, that chili's good. I feel like it's the same thing I said at Krusty Burger. But that chili is good <laughs> with the beans and the sour cream, cheddar cheese, nice and crispy crust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love chili. I love chili with burgers. I love chili with nachos. If you make like a nacho, you put some chili and some cheddar cheese on top. That's the best thing ever. Delicious. It's a little bit spicy at the end, actually. Probably by expecting there. It's good. And it holds up. Holds up. This is delicious. It's amazing. I don't have any complaints so far. Alright. Let's move on to the next slice. Alright guys, so this is the regular red. They call it a red base slice, but this is like a New York slice. It's got the red tomato sauce. It's got extra mozzarella cheese got basil and it's got garlic okay and as you know in New York we add the Parmesan cheese the garlic powder the red pepper flakes and the oregano so let me try it, try it by itself and then I'll dress it up and see which way it tastes better so this is the Orlando Florida version of a New York slice Let's see how it how it is. That's pretty good. That's pretty good if I have to say. Because of the size of it. And I think they got cornmeal at the end. At, or they probably to throw it in the pan and put the dough on top. Which I haven't noticed till now. Alright, let's taste it. Mm -hmm. This is the pizza that reminds me of New York. That mozzarella is good. Fresh. It's a good amount, but I asked for extra mozzarella cheese because that's how I eat my slices. It's delicious. That, the tomato sauce, not too overpowering. It's delicious. And just the right amount of cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got the basil and the garlic in that bite. This passes it. This is good enough. This is just like home. Just like grandma used to make. <laughs> My grandma never made pizza. 
<laughs> we always bought it. Just like grandma used to buy. How about that? Okay, let's get a little Parmesan on there. Let's get a little garlic. Oregano. And a little spice. And let's fold it up. I only put it on the tip. Let's try it out like this. Mmm. Okay. You get a little bit of saltiness from the Parmesan cheese. A little bit of spice from the red pepper flakes. I think I want a little bit more of those for the next bite. Okay. Mm. That was like three bites in one. <laughs> it's so good. This reminds me of back home in New York. It is delicious. It is an awesome place. All right, guys. This is one of my favorite slices that I used to get in New York, the white slice. But we got it made down here. This is one that I custom ordered. It's got fresh mozzarella, extra ricotta cheese, basil, and garlic. You can see that basil in there, that fresh basil. And you can see that chunk of ricotta cheese right there. Let's see how it holds up to the New York white slice. That's Because that's the biggest comparison. Where's the best pizza in the world? It's not in Italy. It's in New York. It's in New York. Okay. Look at this white slice holding up pretty well you know one thing that I do down here in Orlando that I noticed that they kind of under bake their pizzas a little bit so it's like a soft crust but you know in New York it's a thin crispy slice so what I do is ask them to crisp it up just a little bit and it comes out just right so let's give this a taste mm. Mm. got that ricotta cheese in there mm -hmm. And that's what you want in a white slice. Ricotta cheese and mozzarella cheese. But the garlic and the basil, nice little extra notes of flavor in there. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That holds up. That holds up well. That's great. I don't have to miss home anymore. <laughs> this is delicious. I feel like I've loved every slice here. I don't know which one to recommend. But I'll figure it out by the end of the video. I got one more thing. One more thing for you guys. And that's the calzone. Let me show you guys a close-up. This is the calzone here at Lazy Moon. Calzone looks good. We got a little side of Jason's mom sauce, which is their specialty sauce here at Lazy Moon. Calzone has red sauce, red tomato sauce, mozzarella, ricotta, ground sausage, and pepperoni. You can see a little pepperoni right there. All right, let's give it a taste. Calzone, as you know, is always, or maybe you don't, calzone's always a little bit better when you let it rest for a bit. Because if you open it up, when it's freshly baked, all of that cheese is just going to ooze out of it. And that's not something that you want. You want everything, all of that flavor to stay right inside. Okay. I got one piece here. Oh, you can see, oh, I got to do a close-up of this one. This is going to be good. I already know. I already know. I got butterflies looking at this. All right. Let's taste this. Let's try from this end here. Mm. That's good. That sausage is fresh. Tastes great. Pepperoni. Got a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. Ooh. Lot of food. Let's dip it in this. This is this is their special sauce here. Let me try it on its own actually. It's like a sweet kind of sauce, kind of like like a sweet and sour sauce. Let's dip it in here and see how it is. Let me get this cheese first. But this is delicious. This is great. 
I get a calzone here any day. All right. Mm. Not a fan of that. I don't think that combination works well with a calzone. I wish I had gotten a marinara. The sauce is good. I think it might be better with uh, like the barbecue slice because it's sweet. But this is amazing. Calzone. Calzone is delicious. Delicious. Everything, everything has been great here. I'll cover that up. I got nothing else to try and that's a good thing because I'm super stuffed. More stuff than a stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut or, eat, or Papa John's. I saw that they got stuffed crust. I'm super stuffed. They cut me open, all they get is pizza. <laughs> all right, guys, we tried them out a little bit more. If you want something special, I've never had anywhere else, is a chili slice. So I recommend that one. And the other one is the Jason's Mom slice. The tomatoes in it and the mushrooms, it tastes nice and fresh. If you're a New Yorker, you're in New Yorker, you're in Orlando or in Florida, get the plain slice, the red base, the red tomato base they call it, extra cheese, garlic, basil, and you and ask for it a little light, extra crispy. It's a perfect New York slice. It's amazing. <laughs> so three different recommendations. Not to say the other ones weren't good, they were delicious, but if you come in here, you're only going to get one or two slices. Those are my top three. All right. And the drinks, the drinks were great. The mojito and the Diablo Rojo. That one was good too. <laughs> that one was good too. So next time I come here, I got to get both and I got to get three slices. <laughs> in New York, you could eat two, three slices, no problem. You see the size of these slices? They're huge, gigantic. You can't, you can have one slice. So you have to visit multiple times. All right, guys, that's all I have for this episode. Don't forget to eat, drink, and be merry. Take care.